Hi there. Right, lots of you last time wanted to know what the plants were in the garden when I did a sort of silent video. So this time I'm going to try and tell you what a lot of them are. This is a little annual climber called Kabir Scandens, the cup and saucer vine. And that's gone right up my conifer. Okay. Here we go through the garden gate, straight into a hibiscus, which I don't actually know the name of. I'll shut the gate behind me, stop the dog, but it didn't stop the cat. I've been trying to wait for a cloudy day, but it's actually been surprisingly sunny just lately. Right, we're now end of September, so things are starting to look a little bit tired. But this is the beautiful Manny Hot Grahamii, the tapioca plant. It's flowered several times, but it just doesn't want to set seed in this country. We've got the ginger Hadikium tara and Assam orange that have just finished flowering. Nice little Empatiums uh, adu, adu, Aguta, that's right. Something blue, I can't remember, heavenly blue is it? They're nice little flowers. Well, they're not that little actually, they're quite big. Uh, a couple of um, Mustia Wallastoni eyes, which I really hope will flower next year, but. I'm going to have to take them in for the winter because they're really not going to like a heavy frost. Here we have um, a Butylon Ashford Red. It's been out all winter. Minus eight we got here. As has this um, Impatiens Tinctoria, which are delightful little flowers. We've got another big Impatiens over here, Impatiens Sodenii, uh, Areobotria japonica is the loquat, um, that would fruit in a very long hot summer, but not the one we've had this year. Right, right up there, Scheffler Taiwaniana. Not battered an eyelid to minus eight. Uh, it's quite tall now. Just do a slow look around where I am at the moment. Here, the big um, Colocasia esculentas, which I grew from the Asian shop in the spring. That is um, Dahlia Swan Island or as it's known, that's P-W-H as in Winnie the Pooh. Uh, in amongst here is a great big Sonchus fruticosus and another, look at the size of this leaf, another Abutalon Ashford Red. Hasn't actually got one out at the minute, they've just got a bud. Right back over this side, a couple of Persicarias. Another Sonchus, uh, I think that one's Arboreus. A uh, great big uh, Xandadacia Hercules, love this plant. That stayed in full leaf last year, at uh, minus eight. And this is an amazing plant. This is Smallanthus Sonchifolius. Uh, I treat it like a dahlia, so it makes a big tuber. Lift that. I'll, I will lift that and bring it in, although I don't the dahlias. This little plant, Gomphocarpus, which is also known as Bishop's Balls, so it has these huge um, big seed pods that look like puffer fish and they look a bit hairy, hence the name. Somebody, somebody obviously well known, well knew the um, bishop. We've got the big bananas that they are. Musa Basju, and we have one in there that is in flower, 
and fruiting. They're not an edible one. And that stem will now die, so I'm never very happy about them flowering. More colocasia, a daft cat. Uh, it's another small anthus. It's the only one I got out from seed this year. I can't remember that, what it's called, which one. But it's now well, seven foot tall. Tithonia, the torch. This is a Jubea palm. Ordinary ivies over here. Got a beautiful uh, Thumbergia. Not sure of the name of this one. It's just an annual. I'm just hoping it sets some seeds. Down here we've got Coleus or Solanostem and Combat. Some beautiful irisine, irisine herbs, di blazing rose, I believe. This marvellous, huge salvia amistad, which has been out unprotected now for several years, and has come back just as fine this year as it did the year before. Lots more irisine there. This one is Persicaria Golden Arrow. Um, various little salvias, Plectranthus and an Oxalis down there called Plum Crazy. I had to replace my Pseudopanax mower's toes. That's in a pot so I can move that still. Right, then we walk a bit further. Let you have a good look at the Tiki Hut. And I'll just sort the parrot out. He's always drunk. Sit up, Polly. That's better. I was worried about this corner in the spring. I didn't think there was enough in it. Look at it now. The very bit I'm looking at right now. I was worried about. <laughs> so we've got a huge Phytolacca americana variegata. That's proven to be very hardy in the UK here. This is a lovely little leaf. This is um, Solanum um, to Zimbalo. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's a little tiny Tolenum in there with this tiny little flowers. It's quite handy plant because there's lovely zesty lime leaves. There they are. Uh, a huge Persicaria orientalis, the annual one. Another annual, the Solanum laciniatum. They will survive a mild winter, I find. Right, this massive thing here that's all up there is Salvia. Uh, Costa Rica blue. Um, we have also in here this lovely leaf, which is a Butylon Thompsonii. Has lovely little orange Granny Hoods flowers. There's a nice little flower there from Hibiscus trionum, and this spiky thing. I quite like it. Solanum atropoperium. Dahlia David Howard, always a favourite. The foliage is so dark and stunning. Uh, there's a lemon in the back there, a limon. Two more wonderful sonchus. I do love the sonchus. They're gorgeous. I will bring them in to survive the winter. Um, but they are root hardy. A couple of cannas there. Uh, striata. And then we have this huge Amicia zygomerus. It must be nine foot tall. All this year's growth. 
It's a very strange plant because it closes up at night and you think the thing's dead. The whole thing, like all the leaves fold up and collapse. It's a very, very pretty leaf, a member of the pea family. And here we have Alstroemeria Indian Summer matched with Solanum Campfire which goes together very well and this is um, Plectranthus Franklin's Olive that's in one of my fillers uh, Yucca filamentosa maybe, Variegata um, this canna, I think it's just the ordinary Papyrium another banana up there in, in flower And another one there, just to make me swear. Right, we'll carry on this way. This Hedicium is just about finished now. I think it's uh, Spicata. And the huge Arundodonax Variegata. And there's another bit over there. And this little tree is uh, Fermiana simplex. Now uh, we've got a gunner, gunner of tinctoria. My favourite canna, Musifolia. I just love it. it, gets so big and the leaves are so, well, musa like, which means banana like, which they absolutely are. Another group of bananas there, and the plain Arundo. And this little palm is a Trachycarpus wagnerianus and in here is some big leaves Petasites gigantea Colocasia mammoth Colocasias don't get as big here as they could because we're on sand it's never damp enough for them and we've got a limey one there and uh, a, a dark purple one and then another one of my favourite plants the red sugar cane. Now this was six inches tall when I put it in this year and it's now towering over me about seven foot tall. I'll end this video here and start another one just to save on space.